Good morning, I'm Lynn and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. It looks like spring out here, but it actually feels like fall. It's really, really cold, but these blossoms look like spring. So yeah, as usual, weird weather. We're gonna start the day off with a little surprise that Arnie gave me this morning. And it was supposed to be shearing day, but it looks like that's getting canceled again this time. So I don't know now when we're gonna be shearing, hopefully tomorrow, because we really need to get these things off our back. And it, the hot weather is gonna get here soon and we don't want the sheep with their wool on. So we're in the milk house now. Tom is waiting for his food. So let's get started. Okay, Lynn. So what day is it? Shearing day. Is it shearing day? It's shearing day, apparently. And when was your birthday? Oh, that's not true, Lynn. Your <laughs> birthday was two days ago. That's right. It was two days ago. Did you have a nice birthday? Yes, we had vis lots of visitors. What did, we, what did we do on my birthday? Oh, that's a oh, sign. We were, that's uh, a sign of old age. We were. Well, it was well, it's hard. It's kind of like every other day, right? We really? Were, we were selling sheep. Selling sheep on your birthday, and what was Arnie doing? Selling sheep. No. No, no, no. Come on, Lynn. Arnie was planting beans. No, you were finished beans. Well, oh, then I was planting corn. One or the other. But I was busy, wasn't I? So I had an excuse, and I was busy. I don't remember. So, honestly, Lynn, you got to start sharpening up the mind a little bit, because it's going to start sinking away on you. It's Alzheimer's. Okay. So we're going to share sheep today? So you're getting your morning coffee and you're uh, getting up to get ready? Yes, you're not showing anything, are you? No, no, I'm not, Lynn. <laughs> so it's not your birthday today. Okay, Artie, get on with it. We don't want a 50-minute long video. But, but Lynn, really, uh, every day is really your birthday, isn't it? Oh, every day is like Christmas to me. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Every day is a special day for you, isn't it? It really is. That's right. I like, feel happy every day. That's right. So every day is sort of like your birthday. Sort of. So I was planning, so I'm a little bit under the gun, and I couldn't look after you. Okay. So now I have a little gift for you. Okay. And you have to make a production. Come on, what is it? Yeah, and you, you, know, you know, I always pay attention to what your needs are. And you always say, I don't really want a bot gift, Ernie. I want something oh, that yes, I, I want something that's made from the heart. And Ernie has a lot of heart to share. That's right. Is that right? Massive. Okay. Well, we got something for Lynn here. I definitely agree with Nate's stuff. And we're going to pick it up here. I'm going to give it to Lynn. Serious, Ernie. And Lynn's going to set her coffee down. Here you go, hon. I hide myself. You look proper, hon. People are kind of wondering why the fire is still going on in the end of May. Your neighbor probably recognizes the bag. Did you make that? What oh, is it, hon? Where was that? What is it, hon? Come on, come on. It's a, it's a birdhouse. Okay. Where did we have that apple? Come on, think, honey, think. It was a paper towel holder. Toilet paper holder, huh? Thought... For spools of toilet paper. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh. That's the, that's the handle. Well, we were going to throw it away, and we thought we could make something with it. Okay. So and what's this in... This is the handle. This is the thing. That's right. Yep. Yeah. No, that's a good one. And what's, and what's in the hole? I don't know. Okay, so you know, just a minute before you start ripping it all apart. Just hang on a second. I'm no, don't, Lynn. Don't use the brain, hon. Don't use the brain. Save the brain, Lynn. At your age, you want to save the brain. Save the brain. Okay, what is it? So you turn the, side, turn the front sideways because you've got to clean out the old bird nest every year. Remember, birds want a new nest. So just go sideways. It's 
Yeah, you should be able to twist it. And once one screw was in, you should be able to twist it sideways. I can't see which way. No. Does it move? Yes, it does then. Do you want me to do it for you? No, it, sh it should be a, let's see. No, you hold on to the bottom part. You hold on to the bottom part, and I'll move it. Oh, actually, it's just got a little bit of wet paint. There you go. <laughs> it just goes like that. There you Whoa. go. Oh, that's, that, I was looking for them last night. You were. <laughs> and, and. Birds don't like that. And does Arnie pay attention to what you like, Lynn? But you'll try, weight. won't you, hon? I'm trying to lose weight. And she'll stash them in a little dresser and she won't share them. I don't have to stash them. I don't have to share them. You'll take them anyway. But Lynn, you always say, Lynn, that I don't pay attention to you. So what's your favorite chocolate bar? Uh, these ones are pretty good. What are they, hon? We got bubbly mint arrow. What, what flavor? Mint arrow. Mint arrow, that's right. And they're probably your favorite, aren't they? They're, aren't they? They are some of my favorites. So I do pay attention, it's don't I? It's hard not to have favorites. Arnie, you're, you're beginning to make me mad now. <laughs> this is, you're making this about you. No, I'm not. Yes, but, you are. You, you talk bad about me sometimes. No, I never do. I've Take the tape off the back there, honey. It's just to plug the hole. There you go. Plug the hole? That's right. There, now it moves. Oh, but the yeah, you gotta put the two screws back in to hold it. Oh, okay. But that's how you clean out every year. And tell them why. Tell them, oh, actually, there's more in here. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> tell them why we have to put, take it out every year. Because remember what happened to our little bird this year? With the other bird, Peter? What happened to it? He wanted to go back. He came back to go in his same little house. But his old nest was still in it. We forgot to clean it out. So he had to go somewhere else. Maybe, yeah. Because he didn't go in, to, in it this year. Well, who knows? Because our birds come back every year. Because they're well treated. That's right. So we need lots of bird houses. Thanks, Ernie. You don't have to because, say because I am. It is true. I would much rather have a maid gift than a bot. bot gift. So, so diamonds and stuff really are not your thing. No, I got enough of those. Oh, you have enough. Of those. <laughs> okay. So you're past that stage. Yeah, I don't need that. What am I going to do with that? Okay. What are you do with the bird house, huh? That this I can watch the birds go in. Okay. Okay. Turn it off now. Okay. So we're sharing today. We're gonna have a good day. No meltdowns. I don't know, Ernie. That's always up to you too. Oh, see, and that, <laughs> see, see, see that, that's what that's you're you're always saying that I had the meltdowns. So why so why is the fire Which going you, on May on on, uh, on the first of June, hon? It's not the first. Of June. Pretty soon, then. It's just a few days it's away. Like Twenty second. It's like it's like we still have ice in northern Canada. Yeah. Last night we got rain. It's quite moist. But I think it's supposed to be a warm day, isn't it? Right now it's only single digits outside. Yeah. Not too good for growing beans. The beans are probably going to germinate, but I'm thinking beans are going to need a little warmer heat than this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beans don't like this. It's okay, they won't, they, they're, they can hang in for a few weeks. Then, honestly, no one ever sees you, then. Really. People always think you're working so hard, but actually, you get up in the morning with your house coat on and lay and have a cup of coffee, and Arnie's already dressed to go to the barn. <laughs> you just stay here with me the whole time. Okay. So, happy birthday, Lynn. Thank you. I didn't forget you. Thank you. Okay. Don't forget that. So, these girls all need sharing, too. So maybe now when he comes, he'll do them as well. Because we really want these girls shared. Hi, you, you want to have a shearing. 
and Glad. Glad and Ferdinand thought they were going to get a sharing today, too. Hi, you two. Hi. We were looking forward to your haircut. Hi, buddy. Hi. You're such a good boy, Glad. You're such a good boy. Yeah. You're kind of matted. And Ferdinand. Thank God you got your makeup on again this morning. Someone was here the other day and saw you without your makeup on. You're a good boy, too. You guys are all good boys. So this barn's a little different today. These are all the rams we got to sort through that got added here the other day. Of course, the ones with the dots on are the older ones that we decided are keepers. Now I have to go through all the new ones to see who uh, I think might be a keeper. All the Suffolk on this side are our keepers and the Dorsets have yet to be sold. Some will be keepers, some are for sale. She's one of the new ones that came over here yesterday to join this big group. She's got a red dot because she's a purebred Dorset. She's out of the mum we bought from the Classic. She's a really nice ewe and she's checking out Katie and Katie's checking out that manure pile because I think she saw a mouse going there. And when I was looking at all these ewe lambs, I figure we have about 50 Dorset Dorset crosses to sell. And I noticed this guy, he must have snuck in overnight. So we gotta get him out of here. That's Lamborghini. 
What about all the other ones with dots? Are you going to put a halter on them? Are you going to put a halter on the other ones with dots? Because you need to do three. I like... There's another suffix in here I really like too. But I have to look at the other oh, This is the one here maybe. Right here. I think this is the one. There's lots of nice ones. Hi, you guys. Hi, you want to go on a halter? You want to go on a halter? <laughs> you got the little, the little texels hitting you the whole time. Oh, it's not the texels, it's a little dorset. You have to be involved, don't you? So Arnie's done his crops now. So the next thing he has to do is take the tires off. The dual tires. So he's taken one off already, so I told him that maybe somebody would like to see what that procedure looked like. So he's getting it, the tire raised up a little bit by driving on a board. You put the duels on, well I'll let him tell you that. Arnie, since you're taking the duels off, People might want to know why you even had them on to begin with. It just makes the tractor look bigger. I like to be like those prairie farmers with the big tractors, so when I make the tractor look bigger, it makes me feel like I'm more. And does it work? No. <laughs> why do you really have dualies on? For that reason. I have dualies on then. I'm, I'm not, you're, you're not telling me, you're telling the viewers, because I know why you have duties on, but I thought you would like to explain it. Well, you think it would be for traction. It, it, is, it is a little bit, it helps quite a bit on traction. On the ground, it's a little sticky. But it actually just uh, distributes all that weight on, uh, on more ground, so there's less compaction. Because we don't have very friendly ground here. Our ground is a little bit like clay. Whoa, got that right in my face. I because they can't hear you over the tractor. Our ground's a little bit of like clay, so uh, these uh, these tires have no calcium in them. And I know people understand uh, if you have fluid in them, these tires are all pressed for the air. Less weight. The tractor weighs six ton. And if I add uh, weight to the tires, which you impulse to, it's actually it's tracking heavier and you have compaction in the fields. So I have to go across the fields with as less weight as possible do with less damage to the soil. So most people would assume that all tires were filled with air. Calcium. Or air, yeah. But most farm tractors are filled full of calcium. And I bet you most per people have never heard of that before. So why well, would you put calcium you, in a you tire? Put calcium in for the tractor to have more weight to grab more, to pull more. But, but the tractor has more weight on it. It's not friendly to the soil. It compacts the soil. Okay, so you chose to go the air route. There's actually, I heard rumors that if you go to Chatham, Ontario, with a heavy clay, they run most of the tractors up there with no calcium because the clay compresses. Now, maybe that's not true, but my neighbor comes from Chatham, and that's what they were doing. 
they were met, trying to make the transfers lighter to have less damage on the soil. Okay, so now how do you take these things off? I'm going to put it in this little hole right here and it's going to come off and hopefully it's not going to kill anybody. That's it. It took a lot longer to put it on, didn't it? That's right. <laughs> We're on for the whole year. Because I don't use them with hay because now it, the hay is going, run, it's going to drive the hay flat. So now I want smaller tires and uh, less damage in the hay fields. So now he's just stacking those tires up away for the season. trying to take I don't know I still feel I still call them lazy blakes because once you start doing something it, it's hard to get rid of it the fluffy stuff is that ro t um, paint roll stuff I'm gonna try his other leg now to see if it's okay too but it's hard to get these things off once they're on See, that fluffy stuff is the paint roller, eh? And then I got probably a cardboard or another one in there, too. <laughs> it took a lot of creative work when you're all on your own. I would never use those little paint roller things again. They were terrible to work with. The cardboard was much nicer. Doing a great job, honey. He's such a good little lamb. We just put him up down and look, but it looks like he's standing right on his tippy toes. Good job, buddy. Oh, and you guys have discovered the creep area in here. Show us your face. There in the creep pan. Little guy, he's uh, all his bandages are off now. And he didn't, the, this morning when we gave him a bottle, he didn't take as much. And I'm, we're both kind of thinking that he's drinking off his mom. She might not have a lot of milk right now because she might have lost it. But usually if they start sucking again, they'll come back to it. As long as she hadn't totally dried up. So we'll see how it goes, but there he is. See now. <laughs> Now he's noticing that they're not on, and it probably feels really different. Now Arnie's taking the old nest out of our other bird house, the, the one that he didn't want to go into it. He made all that last year. It's a little tiny, tiny little bird, a little wren of some sort. And he's cleaning it out just in case they, he wants to come back again. And we thought that because it was on the porch here, we wouldn't a bird wouldn't go in it. But he did go in it and raised a family in there and it was the tiniest little bird with the prettiest little song super loud voice it wasn't a year for him maybe he got divorced it's 
so that's that one we have on the porch. And then over on the other side, he just put up the new one. What movie? Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, yeah, yeah the boat has all these lights. <laughs> these are our porch lights. <laughs> well, well, it looks like shearing day was off after all. Jacob didn't come today. So hopefully we'll be shearing soon. In the meantime, we did some work around the yard and stuff. Got cleaned up some more and stop to have a drink. So, cheers everybody. Hope you enjoyed your time at Utopia Farms and please join us again tomorrow for the next episode. See you then, bye now.